everyone struggles with comparison and self-esteem issues because of social media and because you were a model and you went through that, but you're also about like conscious mindsets. Like how did you navigate it? What advice do you have for people? There's a few things that come to mind. One of them is boundaries. And secondly, it's your authenticity, like what you're speaking to prior. I'm going to start with authenticity. When you're showing up online and you're looking at people and feeling less than, it's because you're not spending enough time turning within and celebrating what you like about yourself and your own authenticity. And the more you double down, even if it's literally grabbing a pen and paper and writing out like the things that you love about yourself, the things that you adore about like your personality, the way you show up as a friend, like maybe it's like the way that you can laugh easily or the way that you dance, little things like really doubling down on what you appreciate about your own authenticity will lead you to feeling that constant comparison less. So I think that's like sort of a private practice separate to the social media world that can be really helpful. But the second really being the boundaries. And it's a weird one to talk about because being on social media, like I, my whole brand, my business is on social media. So a part of me is like, spend more time on it. But also a larger part of me is like, you should have boundaries, like anything in your life that you have a relationship with. We have a relationship with social media. So in what ways can you make that a safe experience for yourself? In what ways can you make that an experience that leaves you feeling better after engaging with it rather than worse? Yeah. So for me personally, that looks like not looking at my phone when I first wake up and not looking at my phone before going to bed, roughly like 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And unfollowing accounts that don't make me feel good. I know we hear that a lot, but like, don't worry, they didn't notice, like just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what What's kind of your strategy being on social media? Is it something that you have boundaries with as well? Yeah, I have to. <laughs> That's something that I relate to too, because it's like your career is on social media. It's like, I, I used to spend so much time watching stuff because I'm like, oh, I'm researching, I'm learning, I'm seeing what people are doing. But it just... I don't know. You just get stuck and your mind just feels so terrible after being on it so long that I, I literally try to live most of my life off social media. And I, yes, I do check in, but I find that I use it less and less now. Mm. Like it's great as a platform to share and also like support my friends and be there for some people. But I don't know. I, I, it's healthier for me to not be so plugged in. <laughs> I think it's healthier for everyone to not be plugged in. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) I like couldn't agree more. Like worry less about how your online life is as much as you're worrying about how your offline life is, exactly as you've said. Exactly. That is Mm -hmm. such a life shift happened for me when I stopped prioritizing like what I appeared to be to other people and then really took a step back and was like, who are the people around me that I really love and adore and how can I invest in them versus trying to invest these like strangers on the, or, like impress the strangers on the right. internet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Invest in your real life and the real people in your life. Yeah. Cause they're there. Like they're the people that you pick up and call. They're the people that like when you've had a really tough day, you want to reach out to. And I think in the world of social media, even with like partnership and your relationship, Like, can you keep your phone off the table when you're sitting, sharing a meal together or when you're with your friends? Like, can you give them your utmost attention and your capacity and hold space for them to share with you before you pick up your phone while they're talking? Because every time we do that, we're basically communicating to whoever we're with that this is more important than you right now. Yeah. And and it breaks my heart every single time. Like, I'm kind of like the friend that like calls out my other friends. I'm like, Mm. did you just pick up your phone? Like, are you serious? (laughs) (laughs) But like, just being mindful. I don't think we have to be harsh about it, but I, I do think it's important. And I think it's something that has talked about a lot, but we don't really implement in our own lives enough. Yeah, yeah. 